Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Pacific Rim Uprising to see how accurate all the science and technology in the movie really are. Are you sure it's in here? Power calls are stripped before the gate decommissioned. But sometimes they miss the tertiary plasma capacitors. And that's a big score, this one's still holding the charge. The tertiary plasma capacitors sound really fancy. It just means the third capacitor in a circuit to supply electrical power. Capacitors are devices that can store electrical energy and inside of them are two terminals connected to metal plates separated by an insulator. Capacitors are different than batteries. For example, both can store electrical power. The difference is how they distribute it. And a battery will release energy in a very controlled linear flow versus a capacitor it will discharge very quick small bursts come on come on come on yes it works okay this is very impressive she is an extremely talented young engineer because even if you had access to all the parts she assembled a unique Jaeger using scraps and did it pretty well. What she's doing is taking scraps from a Mark 1, 2, and 3 Jaeger to make her own Mark 4.5, which is like taking parts from an iPhone, Blackberry, and flip phone to make a Samsung Galaxy S2. This is a very daunting task, and while it is beyond impressive, it will not stand a chance against an organized company with dedicated hardware and software engineers perfecting their product over many, many years in various iterations. For those of you who have built a custom desktop, you're aware that not all motherboards will support all components. And somehow she's found a way to make one motherboard and just like rigged it all together so that it can take on whatever it needs to. You can run Apple iOS from your phone to an Android device. It doesn't have to be that only iPhones can run Apple software. It's just a hardware issue. If you wanted to run uh, like uh, Google, Android, Pixel, whatever software they have on that phone on your iPhone, you can do that because you have the hardware to do that. It does not mean, however, that the Pixel's camera software will be compatible with the iPhone camera software because sometimes the digitizer won't register properly when you're looking at your screen and even though you have the same camera with the same megapixel capacities it won't always be compatible Jaeger evolution the system i designed processes commands through a quantum data core this means that a single pilot can operate the drone remotely from anywhere in the world that is a trillion dollar idea if someone was to actually pull off quantum computing they would a lot of tech companies in Silicon Valley would come rushing for that technology. Our computers today function on binary systems. A zero is off and a one is on. On an actual computer, the on and off switch is a one with a zero around it. Quantum computing uses a quibit, which is a one, zero, or both. And that is a really, really giant revelation because now you can run the exact same command in a much shorter amount of time. Anything that a quantum computer can do, our computers today can do just as fine, but it might take them significantly longer for the exact same calculation. Relax, it's coming back to me. You sure? The comment section was very vocal about the neural link, and it makes a lot more sense to me now Placing a haptic suit inside of a neural connection with two pilots for a giant Jaeger does provide a lot of benefits. And what we're seeing right here is an example of AR, augmented reality, because the pilots are observing a real world scenario. And even AR requires a little bit of VR, just because you need to be able to project what the Jaeger is doing and seeing with the outside world. So the pilots have to visualize a very large object in the palm of their hands. And this also has to register the weight and the shape of the object, which is going to be especially useful when you have to fight because the feedback is the entire game there. Augmented reality has some difficult problems to solve, but Facebook is actually at the forefront of it. Having this update occur live in such 
detail currently doesn't exist, but we're on the way to something like this. Not so much for military applications, but for communication's sake. Imagine instead of a Skype or a Microsoft Teams call, that like right now it's a two-dimensional screen. But with what Facebook is working on with augmented reality, you can literally see holograms all around you in the room of everyone that you're in a meeting with. What the hell is that? Okay, <laughs> not a biological brain, but a Jaeger that was powered by an AI using a quantum computer that was discussed earlier would be a very formidable opponent and likely not beaten by humans. The AI would be able to calculate so many moves ahead and with the numerous electrical motors inside of Obsidian Fury, it would be the most powerful Jaeger in existence. There's no chance that these two guys in Gypsy Avenger would be able to even hold up a candle to this thing. Like Now, it would, however, be interesting to have two AIs and Jaegers fight each other because that's their only competition is each other at that point. Mount Fuji, but why? Rare Earth elements. Huh? Mount Fuji is a volcano rich in rare earth elements. I get, okay, uh, Mount Fuji is not the best source for rare earth elements. You can actually find a lot more of them in active volcanoes under the water. In fact, around the Pacific Rim, even if you wanted to. Rare earth elements are 17 out of the 118 elements on the periodic table. And they're not scarce or hard to find. They just don't clump together so mining them becomes a little bit more annoying. But they're pretty common all over the planet. Go! Well, I didn't mention this in my first Pacific Rim video, but the comment section got me and the internet is undefeated. You guys are awesome. Jaegers can't exist simply because of the squared cube law. Shout out to Reddit for this explanation. Size grows at a rate of power of 2, and volume, therefore mass in this instance, grows at a rate of power of 3. So weight quickly outpaces size. A 6 foot tall person, for example, would weigh something like 180 pounds. A 9 foot tall person would easily be in the 1000 pound range if properly proportioned. A 50% increase in height leads to a way more than 50% increase in weight. And that's not sustainable because our bones can only carry so much and you just start breaking down at that point. In fact, the tallest man alive could not actually walk around without a cane. He was like just shy of nine feet tall. The only Jaeger we've seen in these movies that can actually be built today is Scrapper. The rest are just too big and too heavy. And no, helicopters cannot transport them to you guys in the comments. The squared cube law also applies to really, really small animals as well. In fact, it's the strength to weight ratio is why these tiny creatures like crickets can jump 50 times their body height. And then as you get bigger to cats and dogs, they can jump about two, three, maybe some of them more, some of them less times their body height. But when you get to really big animals like elephants, giraffes, and horses, they can't even jump one of their body height. This principle also explains why the army ant is actually the most powerful animal alive just by ratio of its strength to size. When gravity isn't yanking down on you 24-7, it's way easier to grow bigger. That's why when astronauts come back from the International Space Station, they're a couple inches taller because their spines decompress. And if you want to get animals that are super massive, you have to go into the ocean. It would have been really cool to see all of them form one neural network and create a hive mind to better coordinate their attacks and it would just improve the communication between Jaegers so much, especially because it's never one versus one. The, the optimal scenario, which what they plan on, is multiple Jaegers for each kaiju. So I'm surprised, why don't they get that going? That, wait a minute. They put a giant Gundam statue in this movie. That's awesome!
awesome! Wow, that is really, really cool! That last thing had no significance to the video. I just thought that was super cool. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed.